uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to the series of three phase uh, problems and in this problem we will have three loads as you can see here i will call this is as uh, load one load two and load three and we are asked to find the a meter readings a3 a2 a1 and a4 so a1 is in phase a a2 in phase b a3 in phase c and a4 in the neutral so definitely this is a y connected loads because we have four four wires okay and we are giving here each load for example in the first load consumes 12 kilowatt at unity power factor the second load 15 horsepower at 0.6 power factor lagging and the last one 12 horsepower at 0.72 power factor lagging and one horsepower is equal to 746 watt okay so how to approach this problem now when you look to the ammeters let's start from a3 a3 is the one that measures the current that goes into the first load, load one. When you go for A2, basically A2 is the ammeter that measures the current that goes for load two and load one. And finally, for A1, it's the ammeter that measures load three, load two, and load one. Now, it doesn't matter where is the ammeter in which phase because the ammeter will give you only the RMS value. It will not give you the angle. So having the ammeter in any phase, it doesn't really matter because we work in a balanced system and the ammeter will only measure for us the, the RMS value of the, of the current. Having said that, let's see how to approach this problem. We'll start with a, A3. So we'll start from the first load. Okay. So I, I will call this as my I1 for load one, which is measured by A3. So my I1 as a magnitude is equal to, the power is given to us 12 times 10 to power three divided by root three for the three phase. And the line to line voltage is given to us as 440 volt. So 440 and unity power factor. And this will give me a current equal to 15.75 amps. So the reading of A3 will be 15.75 amp. Okay, now let's go for A2. Now, how to do that? The safest approach is to find total S from load one and load two, and then find the magnitude of S, and then S is equal to root three V times I. That is the safest approach, regardless of the of the connection. You do need to worry if this is Y or this is Delta. So we'll keep using the, this, this approach. Now, this load that now talk about load two, we have P2 is equal to 15 horsepower, which is equal to 15, times 746 to convert to this to watt, which give us 11.19 kilowatt. So this is B2. Now, theta 2 is equal to cosine inverse of 0.6, which is equal to 53.13. Now, using the power triangle that we used a lot, this is your S, this is your P, this is your Q, and this is your theta. So your Q2 is equal to P2 tan theta 2. Just substitute with P2 and tan theta 2. You get Q2 is equal to 14.92 kVAR. The question is, let's go back here for the first ammeter. We know P1. What will be Q1? Now, since the power factor is unity, Q1 is equal to zero. So from this, now we know P1, P2, Q1, Q2. So now I will find S2, which is equal to P1 plus P2 plus JQ1 
plus Q2. And this is equal to 23.19 plus J14.92 KVA. So this is the complex power. I need to find the magnitude of this, of S2, which is equal to 23.19 square plus 14.92 squared. And this will give me 27.575 kVA. So from this, I can find the reading of A2. If we assume this is I2. So from this, your I2 as a magnitude is the reading of A2 is equal to S, which is 27.575 times 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3, 4, 4, 0. And this will give me a current equal to 36.18 amp. So now I found the current at A, A2. Now we are left with A1 and A4. Okay, so let's go for A1. Now for A1, I need to find again the load. This is our load one, load two, and load three. So I need to find first P3, which is equal to 12 horsepower times 746. And this is equal to 8.952 kilowatt. And Q3 will equal to B3 tan theta 3. So I need to find theta 3. Theta 3 is equal to cosine inverse of 0.72, which is equal, the angle will be uh, equal to 43. 95. So from this, your Q3 will equal to 8.629 kVAR. Okay, now we can find S3 is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus J Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So we have everything. So this will equal to 32.142 plus J, 23.55 kVA. And from this, we can find the magnitude of S3, which is equal to 39.85. From this, we can find A1, the readings of A1, which is 39.85 times 10 power 3 divided by root 3 times 4, 4, 0, which is equal to, the current will be 52.28 amps. Okay, so we found A1, A2, A3. How about A4? Now, A4 is the current in the neutral. This is the neutral current. And in a balanced system, the current has to be equal to has to be equal to zero. I don't need to, to do any calculations. This current has to be equal to, to zero. 